YouTubers, this is Miss Rachel Dina. So, my hair is on its last leg. I definitely had this wash and go for probably about maybe five days. And although I love the bigness, I'm just ready to do something different. It's hot outside. It was 100 degrees yesterday in Florida. And I just don't have time for it. So, I want to show you guys how to do your hair when you don't feel like washing out and washing go. When you don't feel like getting in the shower, co-washing, doing all that craziness, putting the bun back in, putting the flat twist or the twist back in, putting the turban back on your head. So this video is going to be for you if you want to rescue your wash and go. Stay tuned. your hair into four sections using the elastic to put the back away and also making sure that the front doesn't go back any further than your ear. The part really doesn't matter so um, my part is messy as you can see but it actually makes it look a lot better. I don't like seeing parts really. So take the front section spray it really good as this part will be used for slicking down and putting the gel on getting them edges real nice. Now don't forget to add some Vaseline to them edges. That's the best way to make an old do look like a new do. Also, I noticed that adding Vaseline to my edges before Eco Styler Gel definitely reduced the amount of flakes that I got the next day. Now, I don't know why Eco Styler Gel started flaking. I am not a representative of them, but I definitely prefer gel over edge control. You're just gonna roll the hair in the front, making sure that you're keeping the edges as slicked as possible. Then you're going to take that hair and wrap it around the bun in the back. making sure that the two front pieces that you twisted are tied together with an elastic and pulled down on the rest of the hair. And for added cuteness, we are going to use an elastic and put the bottom in the ponytail. I don't know why this look is so adorable to me, but I just think that having the hair pulled back up top and then having a ponytail at the bottom just really shows a little bit more definition, as you can see. So the remaining hairstyle is simple. You're just going to take the remaining hair at the bottom and tuck it up top where you tie the elastic to the front of your hair. Then you're going to pull down a piece, make sure you jazz it up with some gel to pop them curls and put away all the pieces that you want to put away. For further security, you could add some bobby pins to this look to make sure that everything stays in place. 